Are you as obsessed with the Greek gods as I am? I, when I was a kid, I was like, okay, Zeus, Hera, lightning bolt, fake. That was my thoughts. But then I started thinking more about myths and the Bible and things like ancient historical, like basically these ancient religions are basically ancient history. Like those are all of history books. And the Greek gods, I think, were real people. So basically probably like humans that went off up into the mountains, started eating a bunch of fucking ergot or mushrooms or whatever the hell. They tripped for generations and just fucked each other. Massive incest. And they started producing these bizarrely unique creatures that were a result of incest. And I guess highly intelligent. Like they, they were fucking intelligence into their DNA. And that's in the stories that they fuck each other. That's that's pretty, you know, like, that's, that's common knowledge. Um, and they had, like, they had technology. So I don't know if you studied Graham Hancock's. He has a theory that there's perhaps an ancient, like, civilization goes back further than what we thought. There was a flood, like a biblical flood, that flood that really fucked up the comet flood. That fucked up the earth, like, 12,000 years ago. And everyone kind of recovered from that, but like, uh, the Greek gods had the, they had the magic of agriculture. They taught the Greeks how to farm. So they were like, they probably had ancient knowledge. Zeus fucking murdered his father, then made up some gangly story about how his father had done wrong to his brothers and sisters and he had to be like the Justicar. He whacked his father, Kronos, and established order, law and order. For the first time, though. Like, as the Greeks say, Zeus was the, the law bringer. It was because of him that law and order were established throughout Greece, throughout the land. So that's pretty cool. But it, like, I if you look, if you read the stories about these people, it's like desperate housewives. Like, the it's like the housewives of Mount Olympus. You see all these bitches, and I mean the men too, just complaining and whining. And, going. and so they like interact. Like they'd come down from the mountain. Some of them were like Artemis. He'd come down from the mountain and talk to the people. Was that Artemis? Was Artemis was a hunter. Um, it was Apollo's brother. Anyway, he would, like, come down and talk to the people, and they'd be there. They're called, like, psychopomps. Those were the people that would, like, be there for the, the Greeks when, they're, when, they're, when they would experience death. Like, if someone died in the family, one of the, one of the gods would come down from the mountain and be there with the people and, like, help guide the dead to the afterworld. Maybe they would actually take the bodies back up to Hades. Um, so basically, Hades was in charge of the underworld, and like Tartarus. And that, I'm thinking what they did was they actually had a dungeon that they would throw people, put people in. And that was called the underworld. And Hades was in charge of, Zeus put Hades in charge of the underworld. So he was like the dungeon keeper. And Poseidon was in charge of all the water. Zeus was in charge of all the land. They say that he could call lightning and like thunder and, and clouds. And like, I've... When I've been using psychedelic drugs and, like, looking at cloud dispersion and stuff, you can see the clouds kind of form and disperse. And I think it has to do with our magnetic field in our body. Like, I think it, a well-focused human can affect the weather. So I believe that if Zeus was enlightened, like, I think a lot of these, the gods were enlightened, that he could call thunder cloud. He could call clouds. He could, like, bring rain and stuff. He could bring storms and shit. But then at the same time, they were liars. They knew they weren't gods. They were tripping. They were like, we're going to tell these. Maybe they thought they were gods like Jesus thought he was a god. And uh, they told the Greeks that they were gods. And like they maintained the lie. Maybe they themselves did believe it. Maybe they did. But you see all these fantastical stories about Zeus like, you know, cutting his his siblings out of his father's stomach who had eaten his siblings so like you see like they're, they're liars they just made shit up
they would make up Zeus probably made up tons of stories after the fact to make it look like he was all good, he did the right thing. He was okay that he killed his father. Wasn't that big of a deal. His father had it coming. But then there was this one part I was reading last night where Poseidon, Hera, and Afro, or, uh, and Athena. Athena was is Zeus's was Zeus's daughter. It was like his favorite daughter. She is like the warrior daughter, you know. They named Athens after her. But Athena, Hera, who's Zeus's wife, his first wife, his main wife, his bottom bitch, uh, and his brother Poseidon. So basically, his wife, his brother, and his daughter got together and locked them in his room and took control of Olympus. They were like Zeus, you've gone to you're out of your mind, Zeus. You needed a time out. And in the story, uh, I think he eventually just broke out of his room. Or he was let out of his room by Hec Hecatarus or something. Some, like, mythical creature let him out. And it was just like back. He didn't punish anybody. He was just, like, back to normal. He, he was king again. But so I can imagine, like, a crazy husband is, like, out of his mind, like, fucking everyone he meets. And, like, not a bad guy. He's just, like, out of control. And his wife... And his brother and his daughter are like, we gotta, we gotta intervene. We gotta do something. So they're like, Zeus, we're putting you in time out. And he's like, let me out, let me out. And they're like, no, you're staying in that room. We're taking this. And then so they ran Olympus for a little while, and then eventually Zeus came back. Fascinating. It's, I mean, it easily could be a, could be a soap opera, and if not, it could be a really funny, like soap opera for someone to make like a YouTube video of or something, some kind of online video about it. I mean, that'd be hilarious, like a three-minute skit of like the Olympians. <laughs>